हे गाइस वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एजेर टूटोरियल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एजेर ब्लॉग स्टोरेज सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो आई वुड स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंड टू गो एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो ऑन दैट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द एजेर स्टोरेज एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द एजेर स्टोरेज अकाउंट सो वॉट इज एजोर ब्लॉब स्टोरेज ब्लॉब इज बाइनरी लार्ज ऑब्जेक्ट सो एजोर ब्लॉब स्टोरेज इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑब्जेक्ट स्टोर सोल्यूशन फॉर द क्लाउड एंड ब्लॉब स्टोरेज इज ऑप्टिमाइज फॉर स्टोरिंग मैसिव अमाउंट ऑफ अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा इज डेटा दैट डजेंट अधेयर टू ए पर्टिकुलर डेटा मॉडल or the definition such as text file or the binary data so why we are going to use the blob stories and for what purpose it is designed so as we can say that it is serving images or documents directly to the browser second here we can store the files for the distributed access or we can use for the streaming of videos and audios next we can writing the log files next we can storing data for the backup as restore next we can store the data for the analysis by an on premises or azure hosted services so these are the main things by which this blob storage is, is designed go to the next slide and we'll try to understand about the types of blob storage here we can see we are having three different types of blob storage first is the block blobs second is the append blobs next is the page blobs so what is blob blobs so block blobs stores text and binary data and it is made up for blocks of data that can be managed individually and block blobs can store up to about 190.7 tb of the data so this huge amount of data can be stored in the block blobs and this is the by default inside the blob storage next is the append blob so append blob are made up of blocks like block blocks but are optimized for the append operations so for example here we are having a scenario inside the virtual machine we want to maintain the login information so that login data we can append on this append blobs next is the page blobs so basically play page blobs stores random access files up to only 8 tb in the size so this is basically we can say page blobs store virtual hard disk file and serve as disk for azure virtual machine so these are three different types of azure blob storage available inside the microsoft azure so go to on the browser and we'll try to create the blob storage so here if you are going to follow my video series in sequence then you can see we have created a storage account and that storage account is ssu testing so let me go on that storage account so this is the storage account so if you have remember in the last video we have created a container so that we can see directly click on this container so here this is the container that we had created and under this container we have added this file so here let me try to tell you few things so first information that we can see the upload so by using this we can upload any file second we can see the change access level so let me click on this and here this is private blob and last is the container so these are the access levels are available so i am not going to make any change here but we are having these options after that we can refresh if any new file is added and that is not going to refresh then we can manually refresh from here after that in the left side we can see other options as well like we have the access policy properties then we have the metadata here these are the properties available under this container so let me go back on this ssu testing so inside the ssu testing as we can see we are having 
the other options for the file shares queue and tables that will be going to cover in upcoming videos if we go and we'll try to see here in the top side we are having the storage browser preview let me click on this so here we can see we are having this blob containers then file shares then queues then tables so let me go on this blob containers so under this blob containers we'll be going to see the same options like we are having this ssu container that we had created or we can directly upload the files here and we want to add any new container that we can add it from here so let me try to add a new file let me click on this upload and here it is asking so we can click and after that let me select any excel file if i can find out let me select this excel file and open it so here it is asking select an existing container so under which container we want to upload this file so as of now we have only one container that we had created in the last video so let me select that here we can see the option for the override if file is already exist so let me select this checkbox and after that we can see the advanced so inside the advanced here we are having the option for the blob type so this blob type as we can see in the information so azure blob storage supports three blob types block blobs page blobs and append blobs once a blob has been created it type cannot be changed so that we can understand once this is created we cannot modify the type of this blob so as we can see we are having the block blob page blob and append blob so i am going to use the first one and after that here we can see the blob size that we can see 4 mb or the maximum that i could see 100 mb so i am going to use the 4 mb let me go in upload again select the file open it now inside this advance the other option that we could see the access tire so access tire means hot or cool so if we are going to use the hot it means we are going to use this file very often inside the cool we are going to rarely use this file and after that we can see upload to any folder if you want so these are the options available here and here we need to select so let me select that under this container and click on the upload so this file and the type of this file will be having this block blobs that we could see so let me go here and try to go inside this ssu so this should have two files now so this file we have added right away and this file we had added in the last video so i hope guys you have understand how we can create the block blob stories and how we can upload the files so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video